Gusty and warm on Friday with some spots of rain possible. Good Thursday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see from the ultimate dot the radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, East Tennessee's number one tire shop and auto repair since 1953. Uh, all is quiet, but we have some gold coloring across the Smokies. Well, what's that refer to? It actually refers to a high wind watch that goes into effect very late Friday night and lasts until 8 p.m. On Saturday. So the wind speeds there could be clocking in around 65 miles per hour. So it's two hands on the steering wheel, especially if you're traveling into North Carolina. More severe weather breaking out in the Midwest, northwestern sections of Arkansas, southern sections of Missouri. Lots of lightning strikes. You can see over 4,600 or so. A lot going on on this particular map. But that's where we are at the moment. Here it's going to be quiet for the rest of the night. Quiet weather to watch the Vols in their pursuit of the Final Four. Of course, they're in the Sweet 16. Not 9 o'clock, the big game tonight. Meanwhile, we're watching just a few scattered clouds tonight. The Almanac came in at 77 degrees. I was expecting 78, and we did hit 78 in Oak Ridge. 64, the normal high, record high 85 from 1907. 78 in Oak Ridge. It was 78 in Newport, and dare I say, 82 in Sevierville today. Wow, 78 in Teleco Plain, 76 Crossville, Jamestown, 77 for La Follette. In fact, this was the warmest day in Knoxville since March the 6th. Back on March the 6th, we were at 77. But they hit 83 today in Chattanooga, 79 in Memphis. All right, the next weather maker is wind. Oh, it's going to be quite windy. We saw that from the wind watch. But early rain to sun Saturday, 78. And it's still gusty even after these showers and storms move out. I think the best chance will be between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. Saturday. Uh, make, make, make note of that. 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. Saturday is when I expect most of this rain to occur, and it'll be working its way out. Partly cloudy on, uh, say, Sunday. We'll say sunshine gives way to a few scattered clouds on Sunday, but highs around 74. Your headlines look like this. Staying warm this weekend, strong to severe storms possible late Friday night, and windy Saturday even as the sun develops. Now, what to expect in terms of the wind gusts? Today, our peak wind gust was 36. I was expecting 30 to 35. So tomorrow, the winds are going to be pretty comparable, almost in the same category, around 35 plus on Friday. But by the time we hit Saturday, especially in the afternoon, 45 to 55 plus in the valley could be occurring. Well, it might be 65 in the Smokies. So hold on to your hat because Saturday will be quite windy. Let me show you an illustration of this. This is starting off at noon Friday. So right at lunchtime, the winds are already pretty strong in Memphis, Jackson, even in Middle Tennessee around Nashville. We head into the afternoon again, gusts around 35. That's about 630 in the evening. So we still have a gusty day on Friday with highs in the upper 70s, pushing 80. But then once we move into 10 o'clock in the evening on Friday, there's already 50 plus in places like Paducah and Jackson, Tennessee. And it tries to slide in here by 1130. It's already up to 57 Bowling Green. Wow. 53 in Nashville, 50 in Huntsville, while it's still in the 30 plus range around Knoxville. But give it some time. We get into 1 a.m. Looks like this. 2 a.m. Looks like this. And then all of a sudden, 57 in Chattanooga by 3 in the morning. Oh, and there it is. There's a 51 plus 55 in Chattanooga. That's around 4 a.m. But you might think even though it slows down after the sun comes up, and we can illustrate that. Let's take it to about, say, 11 a.m. It's back to 36. You say, oh, we're done with the wind. Oh, no, no. It comes racing back. Look at that. 50, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. It doesn't want to stop. It's just a gusty, windy outlook right through Saturday afternoon, which is why the Weather Service has that high wind watch till 8 p.m., because here it is 52 mile an hour gust at 430 Saturday, 5 o'clock, and so it goes. So we'll be watching this closely. Storm Prediction Center, we are talking about all the colors except purple. We've got some red on the map, which means widespread severe storms are likely in the red areas between Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas tomorrow. So there could be an outbreak of severe storms, even tornadoes all across this part of the country. So if you're traveling there, take note. Numerous storms in orange from Nashville westward, but even still, maybe an isolated severe storm occurring here by very late Friday night into Saturday morning. Again, the time frame I'm still working from is 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. Now, if we take this one step further, you can see the yellow areas, Jamestown, Crossville, scattered severe storms, dark green, isolated, and where it's the light shade of green for Morristown and Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, just some rumbles of thunder. Nothing to write home about. But the tornado risk is pretty pronounced. I mean, you're looking at red areas. That's a 15% chance. 
very high, relatively speaking. The Storm Prediction Center does not issue that very often, but there's a 15% chance that a tornado could occur anywhere in that red area within 25 miles of a point. That's pretty high. And we slide back to Knoxville. I think east, uh, say east of Knoxville looks okay, but there's still even a 2% chance we could get a spin up coming up from the Southern Valley. We'll watch that closely Friday night, Saturday morning. So here's the future cast. It takes all the red arrows in our direction tomorrow. So at 7 a.m., dry, maybe some spritzes. Do you see some green there? Northeast Tennessee, maybe west of Knoxville. That's why he's left a spot of rain if we're lucky. But that's midday tomorrow. Then we head into, say, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The front's in Kentucky, and all the warm air is working its way here. But by 3 in the morning, lo and behold, there it is. All the rain showers and storms come in. They move out. And then we're on our merry way with more wind as it comes back in. And then eventually, we'll keep it still warm on Sunday. Highs on Sunday, generally in the lower to mid 70s, about 74, as we mentioned. And it looks like most of this rain is going to stay south of us on Monday. So we'll keep it dry on Monday now with a few more showers coming in on Tuesday. Valley Planner for tonight will ease us back into the upper 50s, normal lows 42. So it's really mild relative to the averages, 57 to about 7 a.m. And then we're off to the races once again. 55 for low in Newport, 55 in Middlesboro, 55 in Oak Ridge, 56 in Athens in McMinn County. Tonight down to 57, scattered clouds, very mild. Winds 5 to 10, not all that strong tonight. But 78, Knoxville, 82, Newport, low 80s for Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and 80 for Maryville and Teleco Plains tomorrow. Friday, 78 in town. A mix of clouds and sun, maybe a spritz, but again, 5 to 15, gusting to 35 plus tomorrow. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. 80% chance that rain ends, uh, I'd say probably no later than 9 a.m. for the Smokies, but generally it's a 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. situation, but sunshine breaks out, still gusty. And then partly cloudy Sunday and Monday, and where's this cold air? It might be delayed, but it will come back. I assure you it will come back. If not early April, we may be talking about this into mid-April. It's just one of those patterns we're watching very closely. By the way, keep track of the Captain Accurate Weather app and the weather with Pete Michaels Traffic. Just go to the App Store Google Play. It's free. It also works on your iPad. Just search the words Captain Accurate at the App Store Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldrich. Well, some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So go Vols. We'll see you here next time. <laughs>